Okay, time for Let's Talk in Clex. I am so happy. This is my favorite, favorite broadcast. I do like the motivational Mondays, though. I really do like those because they inspire me. But when we get to Friday, I know that the I know that the week is coming and my rest is coming soon. So let's talk in Clex. We have a lot to talk about. You guys uh, know who I am. Regina Cowie, and I have the pleasure of being your Inclex mentor, the the Moses of Inclex. I've been called the Godfather of Inclex, and I'm happy to accept all those titles. I really am, because it takes a lot to get you guys to pass your Inclex, but we do it. We do it. We do it. Thank you. Come on in. I see all the answer choices and the rationales already, and I appreciate it. Um, because I do ask for the rationales. Our NCLEX question today, it was a simple one, but once again, we had so many different answers that it made me think, well, we need to spend some more time uh, talking about delegation again, okay? <laughs> talking about delegation again. Uh, hey, our website, remarreview.com, is where you will find the best resources, inspiration, um, and of course, our NCLEX reviews that are changing people's lives every day. And I thank you guys for always being willing to give me feedback on the, the products that we're putting out here at Remar Review because we want them to be the best. We want them to be, be the best. Um, don't worry, we're going to go over the question if you didn't see it. The topic, though, we're going to continue with our topic, which is kind of the national guidelines for delegation. I did talk last Friday about how the 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 definition and the acts that nurses can do basically your scope of practice can change state by state and i, I talked about how you find out what your uh what your state's guidelines are but we're going to just go look up the national overview okay so things that no matter what state you're in your LPNs, your aides can do these things. Ah, okay, so that's our topic for today. Uh, I have to, and, and Mark just, he reminded me, I have to tell you guys that we did, we did start our uh, Remar Nurse Study Facebook page, like, and I'm super excited about this page because it gives me another opportunity <laughs> to give out more free information, right? Give out more free information. So check out our Remar Nurse uh, NCLEX study group on Facebook. Get in that group. I went live today. I posted pictures. Um, I need them to help me when I go to the NCLEX conference. So um, if you want to see more live videos, kind of like more behind the scenes things at Remar. If you care to know, I'll be doing that kind of stuff from the NCLEX study group. I also posted some brand new questions that I'm working on um, in the group because I want to get people's feedback on it. So if you're in the group, download those questions and let me know what you think about them. Let me know if you think they're challenging or if they're too easy. Um, I just need your help on those questions, all right? So that is it. New study group, join it, join it, join it. I think it's going to be a good time. I really do. I think it's going to be a good time. So, uh, of course, I told them today, but on Monday, I'll be doing motivation on Monday from a great and fantastic new location. So you don't want to miss motivational Monday. I will also talk more about that later on. Okay. But our topic for this week were the national guidelines. Hey, also, before I let you get into that today is friday so you guys know this is our last day for the online academy sale oh my goodness a hundred dollars off of this program a hundred dollars off of this program and you get the wonderful lectures the same that are on the dvd package plus you get your downloadable workbook so you can start right away 60 day access to this program is a hundred dollars off plus your money back guarantee. So like pass or you get your money back. It's an amazing sale. Um, if you get started, like literally, if you get started this week, you can have your license by Thanksgiving. Isn't that wonderful? Like you could be eating your Thanksgiving meal with your license, with NCLEX already out the way. 
you don't want to go into the holiday season studying for NCLEX. Let me tell you, it is the hardest time to study for an exam. Like statistically, the whole research, the whole searching out on Google, everything for NCLEX declines during the holiday season. So do what you need to do because you don't want to get caught trying to get your license right before 2019. Just do it now. So that sale actually ends today, today. So if you're thinking about it, uh, take advantage of that $100 off the online academy. Uh, amazing. Um, pass NCLEX, tell your story. Uh, you know, we have wonderful videos. I have some some testimonials that I just want to read three quick ones. I think they might inspire you. So I'm just going to take some time to read it. The first one is from Cher. And these are on the Facebook page if you want to see them for yourself. Cher Plum says, mighty is our God. My Remar family, I must share this with you all. I sat uh, for my NCLEX RN on a Wednesday. I did the Pearson View trick on Thursday and got the bad pop up. I cried my heart out, but I also prayed and thanked God for all his help and started thinking uh, about when I'm going to start studying again. I even decided not to do the unofficial result thing since I already had the bad pop up. I'm telling you guys, quit doing that trick. Anyways, on Friday morning, while getting encourage encouragement from my sister in tears, uh, she received she received information. So she received information that she indeed had passed her exam. Um, and man, the state board form, she said, uh, she didn't even understand what was happening. She said, it wasn't clear to me what was happening. My sister encouraged me to get the unofficial results. And, um, but the results were not available because I guess it wasn't 48 hours. Anyways, I waited going crazy while waiting. When I logged in, it took me to, a good few minutes to submit my order. <laughs> Nerves, headache, tachycardia, high blood pressure, dizziness, blurred vision, you name it. When I finally muscled up the courage to press submit, I burst out crying again. But this time, in tears of joy, I passed NCLEX, internationally educated nurse, graduated in 2007. Wow. Third time test taker with a 19 month old on my hands. Please don't rely on the Pearson view trick. Put yourself through unnecessary stress. Remar family, I thank you for your prayers and the encouragement. God is amazing. To him be all glory and praise. I worked so hard and I conquered the giant. Remar nurse 2018. I love that. Past NCLEX. Let us know your story. Um, so the second one. And I have here the Remar shirt because we got a new, uh, we marked this some new formatting to it. So this is what the new ones look like. And I, I really like them a lot. So my next testimonial is from Jasmine McField. And she says, uh, this, is, <laughs> this is not the one I wanted to read. She just basically says she got her quick facts. Um, and the first DVD won't play. Why did I print this one out? Um, so Jasmine messaged me on the back end so I can talk to you about that. <laughs> All right. Jennifer Richardson is the one that I need to read. She says, um, I passed my NCLEX RN on the second try with Remar Review. The first time, 265 questions on the first time, 84 questions the second time. I felt so, uh, so much more empowered and confident uh, the second time with Remar Review. Thank you so much, Regina. Your self-study was a lifesaver. I'm officially an RN. And that's amazing because the first time, the first time that Jennifer uh, did, the first time that she did it, she got 265 questions. People email me and say, I failed with 265 questions. I'm feeling really bad. And I always tell them, that is a great sign. It means you were close to the passing mark. So the exam let you keep going. Don't give up on yourself. Like if you fail with 265 questions, that is, please take it again. That's all I can say. Please take it again. So Jennifer, she took it again and she got 85 on the second time. 
she cleared up some issues that she ha probably had with content and got her confidence back up and went back in there and got her license. That's the way to do it. So good job. Excellent, excellent testimony for us who have failed in the past with 265 questions to keep going. All right. So pass NCLEX, tell your story. Uh, we'd love to send you out your Reed Martiner shirt. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody who um, who has taken the time to come back and let us know. OK. Hola, everybody. How about we do our NCLEX question of the day right now? Here it is. I'm going to read it to you guys. It goes like this. A nurse is caring for a client with recent liver transplant. Okay? The client has become unstable and breathing has stopped. The nurse is unable to find a pulse and emergency interventions are necessary. Which task is most appropriate to delegate to the unlicensed assistive personnel? Unlicensed assistive personnel. Here are the tasks. Number one, give rescue breaths during cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Two, assist with oral intubation. Three, administer epinephrine IM. Four, place the transcutaneous pacing pads. Or five, Position the client with the head elevated, okay? Position the client with the head elevated. Now, remember, this is the scenario. You essentially have a client who is unresponsive and they are not breathing. And you are there with your aide, your nurse's aide, somebody who doesn't have a license. What is the most appropriate task to delegate at this time? All right. Now, the choices here, I see a lot of people going between one and five. Right. Because to assist with oral intubation, we kind of can rule two, three and four out because we know that the unlicensed personnel does not do those things. Right. We would not have an aid assisting with intubation at all. And this is this is just one question. Um, this is this is not select all that applies. Just one answer. Um, we wouldn't have the aid administer epinephrine, although that could be uh, a possible treatment, but not for the aid to do, or place the transcutaneous pacing pads. So that brings us down to one or five. Either we're going to have the aid giving rescue breaths, or we're going to have the aid positioning the client with the head elevated. So out of these two, which is the most appropriate for what is happening right now? Because you have two tasks that you can give to the aid to do, and they would be fine. And this is a trick with NCLEX. We're looking for the most appropriate answer for the scenario that you're dealing with, okay? So considering that, considering that, you have a client, <laughs> Nicole, Nicole, stop it, Andrea. <laughs> All right. You have a client who is not breathing. You have a client who is not breathing. Okay. What is the most appropriate thing for your nurse's aide to do? All right. I see the answers changing. All right. So the correct answer, guys, is going to be... Yeah, number one, number one, because listen, you have somebody who is not breathing. If we have to delegate out a task, what is going to be more important, giving rescue breaths or positioning the client's head elevated? It doesn't matter if you put them, if their head is elevated, if you put them on their back, if you turn them to the side. The point is, during all that time, they are still not breathing. So that is an issue for, this is client safety. This is client safety. As a nurse, what are you gonna prioritize? Are you gonna prioritize positioning or breathing? And this is the tricky thing with NCLEX because um, sometimes we try to play it safe or sometimes we think that, oh, you know, the 
I need to do the breathing. But you have to really look at the choices that you're given and really pick the best one. And sometimes you almost have to remove yourself from the situation and just think about what concrete information that you're given. So literally taking out your feelings, taking out your feelings. This exam, NCLEX, it is very important, but you cannot go in there emotional. You cannot go in there scared. Or, and that's why I did the anxiety workshop because you have to have a clear mind when you're reading these questions. You have to have a clear mind. Everything falls back on your fundamentals. OK, and nurses aides can certainly do uh, rescue breathing. They have to learn CPR. So it's OK. It's all right. Um, yeah, th this is this is the reason why we do questions. This is the reason why we come together. If you didn't get it right or you picked the wrong answer because you really don't know what you don't know until somebody asks you. Right. And you get it wrong. So it's OK. The correct answer in this situation, we're going to have that UAP give rescue breaths during cardiopulmonary resuscitation, all right? Um, and again, for you guys who just are coming in, the rationale, the rationale behind that is the, the UAP, they're trained in basic cardiac life support. So they are able to give rescue breaths and do, and do uh, the chest compressions if necessary as well, all right? Um, out of the, all the other choices that are given, the the registered nurse should do that. The registered nurse should do these things. And when we talk about changes to the NCLEX, are we talking about what the possible new NCLEX could look like? You have five choices here, but one of the possible considerations is to present candidates with more more than five, like eight or nine choices. Like really, um, so you guys will really, really, really have to be confident in your fundamentals because if they give you a question and you have 10 answer choices, my goodness, you're really going to have to know your stuff, okay? <laughs> you're really going to have to know your stuff about that. So it's a process, but we can do it together. Um, and the more that we do it together, the better that we'll be. So let's do another question. Actually, Actually, uh, this question today was on our Remar Review Instagram page. So I don't know if you guys saw it, but let me share it with you here. Let me share it with you here. Um, so this is a picture, and I'll read it to you guys if you can't see it. It says, a client presents to the community clinic with a rare skin disorder. The hands of the client are covered in polymorphic skin lesions. The client states that wart-like lesions began two years ago, which is the most likely cause of this disease process. Okay, um, thinking about the cause of the potential disease process, what's going on with this client's skin? One, varicella. Two, human papillomavirus. Three, cellulitis. Four, staphylococcal infection. This is an image. This is an image question. Maybe you can get it on NCLEX. You definitely want to know HPV if you're taking NCLEX. Yep. And I see the answers rolling in, just like on Instagram. You guys do so well on the Instagram questions. Yes, Jeffrey, good job, Melody. See him coming in. So for you guys who may be wondering, well, Regina, these hands, are really, really, really concerning me. Um, yeah, the, the correct answer is going to be number two, HPV infection. It what, what happens here in this skin condition is that the immune system um, is overactive. Like it's a hyper response to the HPV virus. And this is why they're screening and trying to... Um, prevent teenagers from getting this um, condition because it can really get out of control. And the, the clients that are exposed to this, the lesions that will come upon them are more than anybody can really anticipate. I mean, you, you, this is not something that you want to live with for the rest of your life. So there's been a big push to try to essentially screen 
I dare say vaccinate children for the HPV virus. All right, so this was an image question that we put on Instagram. We do Instagram questions uh, weekly as well. I also will put these questions in the Facebook study group, Remarners <laughs> Facebook study group for you guys to do. So NCLEX questions can come in various forms. I love doing them here with you. Um, as part of Let's Talk NCLEX, I wanna do some more questions, but these are the questions that I get throughout the week from you guys and I wanna share them here with you all. So this is Ask Remar. So here's the question I got, um, here we go. Good morning, lecturer. Is it mandatory for the registered nurse to order an autopsy on all clients who die, or is it the family who determines that? This was a really good question from a student um, asking about autopsies and what is essentially the registered nurse's responsibility. So I will love to tell you that registered nurses, we don't order autopsies if our patient dies. Usually if a family suspects that a patient's death had a mysterious cause, um, they may request an autopsy or the hospitalist, the doctor can request an autopsy, but that has to be done by who? Who's that have to be done by? Who does the autopsies? Do doctors do doctors do the autopsies? Will like the hospital doctor do the autopsy? Tracy says no. <laughs> Is right. The coroner, the coroner has to do uh, the autopsies, and usually a county will have one or two coroners. Um, but co well, coroners they are doctors, but they're just not. Um, the doctor specifically that may pronounce the patient dead or who has been working with the patient. But in terms of what we do in regards to that, we don't really have any responsibilities to order autopsies at this moment. You know, you never know though in the future, but right now it is not uh, something that you have to worry about. Okay, cool. That was asked Remar. Um, let me see. Is there another, is there another? Yes. Oh yes. Uh, someone asked, is there a discount code for the question bank? They wanted more questions. And so there definitely is. You guys know Remar Nurse um, is always a discount code that you can use for the products. And uh, you can have a good time using that code as often as you like. All right. Now, another asked Remar question is, um, if a client is being considered for a boarding house, can the social worker call for help information? Oh, so I got this question today. And you guys remember when I did the, I did a Let's Talk NCLEX and it was about the same principle. All right, it was about the same principle. Remember it was the attorney requesting information and Here's the thing, no matter how NCLEX presents you with the question, whether they say it's the attorney or the social worker or the, the brother, it does not matter, okay? We have to remember this. Um, any, anyone, any request, any request for health information, we need to have written permission to release that information, okay? I don't care if it's the patient is um, mentally retarded. I don't care if they have psychiatric issues. I don't care if they're suicidal, um, if they're going to a boarding house, if they're going to vacation. It does not matter. Nobody can call you up on the phone or come into a patient's room, okay? Call you up on the phone, come into a patient's room, and asked and asked for health information. It just does not work like that. So when you're taking your NCLEX exam, you have to be solid on this fact, all right? Because one of the things that looks that looks really bad, makes you unsafe, is if you agree to give somebody unauthorized um, health information, okay? Health information. So let's keep that in mind. Let's keep that in mind moving forward. Okay. Um, another one, another one, another one. Is it true? Is it true 
there will be a new format to the NCLEX exam starting March 2019. I am so happy to get that question. I actually got that question uh, today. So just a reminder for you guys that I will be at the NCLEX conference. Um, I'm flying to North Carolina on Sunday. The conference is Monday and Tuesday. So I will be doing Motivational Monday right from that NCLEX conference. And I'm super excited because I think anyone who is serious about providing NCLEX information to you guys will be at this conference. There are going to be um, discussions and all the research that has been going on with the NCLEX exam. I've been following it, but Monday I'll get my answers and I am happy that I will be going live. Like I have never seen anybody go live from the NCLEX conference. Like usually it's like hush hush, you you don't hear about it. I am I'm in, I'm taking all of you guys with me. Okay, just know that. And I don't care if I have to be in a corner somewhere, I will be dishing out what I'm learning. That's why uh, you guys have to get in the Facebook group because I'm going live uh, from the Facebook group on there. And um, it's really cool because since I uh, started registering, they have been sending me on my phone. I downloaded the app. They say, here, download this app. And so I've been getting my agenda and things that are happening. So on the the conference is Monday and Tuesday. So the welcome starts at 8.30. So I'm going to go live right before the welcome, kind of let you know um, what is happening. I'm going to try to find out who's all there. Um, 8.45, they'll be talking about the NCLEX test development. They may be talking about RN and PN, but I'm specifically going there for the RN because um, I know that they're doing research on questions and things like that. 1015 is the first break. So I will be doing motivational Monday in between that 15 minute break. So I'll be going live pretty early. Usually I go at 12, but on Monday, as soon as we take a break, I'm going to go live for motivational Monday um, and just talk about it. Okay. And then 1030, the NCLEX operations and then 1115 is that question and answer section so i want you guys in the facebook group to get on the video i just did this morning and help me out with that question and answer section please all right because i want to get to the bottom of what you want to know so i am really excited about monday going to the nclex conference taking you guys with me and uh, we're going to find out some really cool stuff. And I am just really, really happy about that. All right. So let's talk NCLEX Motivational Monday. Uh, we'll have a whole new look. I um, want to let you guys know that if you have questions, I see, I see you guys having questions. Um, give us a call if you have any questions about specific products. Um, I know you guys want to order the online academy before the sale or you have a question about Whatever product, we have 855 NCLEX now to uh, to take your phone calls. Yeah, take your phone calls. Again, the online academy sale is just for today. One more day only, 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 only. $100 off, money back guarantee. Wow. So cool for that product. Um, if you want to join the Facebook group, go ahead and search for us. All you have to do is in the search box, go ahead and put in Remar Nurse NCLEX Study Group. Remar Nurse NCLEX Study Group, and you will see uh, a picture of myself. And we have members coming in, rolling in. We're going to try to get to everybody, uh, but you'll, you'll really love it. I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys are posting, what you guys are sharing, and encouragement all these things i am super super excited it's a connection it is a connection all right and i don't always have to go live from the page i can go live from the group Woo. i can i can put that you know because when i do my advanced study sessions i always get questions like hey regina when is the next advanced study session i need the workbook so now i'm just putting it in the group and everybody in the group will have 
those things there. All right. So thank you so much for Let's Talk NCLEX this Friday. It was good. It was good. The question was difficult, but we talked our way through it, which is most important. Our 2018 motto, uh, we can, we will, we must pass NCLEX. We can, we will, we must pass NCLEX. Yes, Denise, this is a new group. I just started it uh, a couple days ago. Okay. Um, so we can, we will, we must pass NCLEX is something that we say to ourselves because it pushes us to keep forward with our goals. Don't let anything stop you guys from your goal. Time is a ticking. Time is a ticking. And one of the most precious gifts that we have is our time. So use your time wisely. Don't let the distractions keep you away from your goal of becoming a nurse. You can, you will, you must pass NCLEX. We're all here to help you. Um, uh, okay, so motivation. All right, so Althea, all right, Althea stopped me. She stopped me from leaving. So you have the DVD package, but truth be told, you have not been using them. Should you get the online academy? Um, yes. You. Look, the question is, can you use it on the go? Yes. If you find that you have a DVD package and you're not using them because of you don't want to sit down and put the DVDs in and get your workbooks out, you can use the online academy to listen to those lectures on the go. Yes, you can listen to them on the phone. But the truth be told is, Althea, I think you have exactly what you need already to pass your exam. You just have to prioritize your time. Um, if you already have the DVD package and it's in your hands, there are many, many people who wish they had the study program. Who don't, they don't even know who Remar are. They, they, they just are just studying by themselves. But you have a whole system that you have invested in. You have invested your time and your money. Unless you have money that you just like to give away, you made a sacrifice to get those products, right? So you need to ask yourself why you invested in something that you have now decided not to use. What is going on? What is going on? You need to recommit to the initial investment. And this is why I get on here and do Motivational Mondays to keep you guys motivated to the promises that you made yourself. Not to me. You didn't make the promise to me. You made the promise to yourself that you were going to do it this time, that you were going to do better. So you need to get back to that place where you're committed to your studying because it's not going to happen. And this, listen, this is what I tell you guys. You can have the products. I can come on here every day and, and, and pump you guys up and say, come on, we're going to do this. But when you shut me off, you're still there by yourself. Right. And when you go into that NCLEX exam, you're going in there alone so you can have all the products I can that I can create. But you still have to make the sacrifice. You still have to make the sacrifice and prioritize your time in order um, to get the information. OK, I've juiced it, streamlined it down to uh, as simple as I can make it but you have to digest it and you can do it. You can do it out there. You can do it. You can do it. I'm telling you. Uh, so just get it done. Okay. Get it done. 2018 is almost over. I want to, I want to eat Thanksgiving dinner. I want to eat Thanksgiving dinner with you guys. And I want us to be talking about how we all got our license, right? <laughs> how we all got our license. And yes, Denise, tell people to leave you alone if that's what it is. That's what it is. Um, yes, the DVD package uh, is also available. It is not on discount, but it is still our most popular product. Like, it's so funny because we did a discount on the Online Academy, $100 off, and our DVD package sales we're like increasing even more. So I think people have to really sit down and think like what what uh, will ultimately get them to their goals. I think just having those physical books, people watching the how to video of how to use all the program um, with the calendar, right? I know with the calendar, 
uh, people just enjoy having that physical material in the structure. So there's other people that like to study online. They, they're on the go. They're, they're computer savvy. So you just have to pick what's best for you. But at the end of the day, if you have the information, you feel so much better about studying. And I know a lot of you are bogged down and you're feeling weighed down because there is so much to study and you hear all these myths about NCLEX and you're just like, I can't do it. But when you have a system that you're following every day, ugh, the turnaround that you feel, it's like a, a weight is lifted off your shoulder because you don't have to figure it all out for yourself, okay? You have a mentor. So if you like to have me study with you all the time, uh, the best way to do that I tell people the best way to do that is to get the DVD program. Then it's me and you for six weeks until you have the information down. Yes, yes. Um, the Facebook study group, of course, you have to search for it and go ahead and request to join the group, okay? Request to join the group. And we definitely will uh, get you on board so that Monday when I am at the NCLEX, for all of you who didn't want to pay, the outrageous amount of money that I paid, you will still be able to have access to the information. You will be able to have a front row seat to the changes for NCLEX. And we won't have to wait till March, which is great. We won't have to wait until March when they put out the test plan. We will have the information in September. And that's really cool. That is really cool. See, now this is what always happens. The longer I stay on here, um, the longer I stay on here, what usually happens is somebody calls for more. <laughs> Nobody. No, I'm just joking. All right. Um, so, um, okay. Um, if you have the DVD package, do you still need the online academy? It's totally up to you. It's totally up to you with the online academy. But listen to this. If you already have the online academy, I'm sorry, if you already have the DVD package, then you actually get 40% off of the online academy, which is more than $100, right? So if you already have the DVD package, you can add the online academy, um, what, what is it, like $119 off? That's the discount, like 40%? So Yeah, what, what, okay. So if you already have the, on, the DVD package, you can get the online academy for $167. OK, uh, which is greater than the hundred dollars off. All right. So um, the name of the group, the name of the Facebook group, it just email me. That's easier. Just email me and I'll just send you a link. Um, but the name of the group is the Remar Nurse NCLEX Study Group. OK, Remar Nurse NCLEX Study Group. OK, so. That answers the questions that I have for this live. Is there anything else? Oh, yes. Um, can we still use the DVD self-study package? That's a great question. In 2018, if the, if the, if the um, test is changing in 2019, I love that question. It's a great question. And I'm going to say to you, yes, because what is changing is not um, content. What is changing is presentation. So my program, the way I created it was to instruct you guys on the content, right? So diabetes, uh, diabetes mellitus, diabetes insipidus, congestive heart failure, EKGs, those things are not changing next year. None of those things are changing. Those things have been since the history of medicine the same, all right? Um, so what is changing is instead of, and I'm just guessing right now, uh, what is changing instead of them giving you four answer choices, you'll get 10, right? Um, so instead of them being uh, four multiple choices, it'll be one sentence or they'll be, what do they do? They add pictures, they add audio. So those are the changes that I'm looking for. There are some others that I'm anticipating, but at the end of the day, you have to know your content. At the end of the day, we cannot spend our time chasing questions. Like, right, we can't just be trying to study different 
formats of questions without knowing the information. So I'll always start you guys there. I'll always refer you back to the DVD package to start. And we can look at the questions all day. I can do questions with you guys all day long, but you'll get them wrong if you don't know the content, okay? Um, if you don't know the content. So this is a great question. Um, and it is one sometimes I get, I get pretty frequently just, is the content changing? Can I still use the DVD program? All right. So I, um, I am always here to help you guys. You know, you can email me support at remarreview.com. We'll get your questions answered. Uh, Remar nurse, Remar nurses unite content over everything. Yep. I like that. Um, but we will continue to press towards our goals. We won't let anything stop us or hinder us from that. And if it means Althea studying on the weekends, then that is what we shall do. So until we meet again on Monday, you guys, have a great weekend. Have a great weekend. Um, I'm taking you with me. We'll be in Charlotte on Monday. Make sure you don't miss, don't miss the Motivational Monday because I'm going to do it and then I'm going to take it down. So it will not be up forever and ever and ever um, just because I will be probably posting very frequently. So be there for Motivational Monday. Woo, it's going to be a fun one. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Have a great weekend. Bye.